Hey y'all, my name's Jake, and you're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Come on. Good morning, everybody. We're here at Flying J, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. We're about to go deliver our first delivery for today. Then we got to rush over to Edmonton, to the other side of Edmonton, the west side, to Atchison, and deliver our second load. It's five and a half hours from here. The time is now about 8.30ish. Hopefully they'll be quick unloading us so we can be out of here by like nine, and be over there by 2.30, 3 o'clock. And yeah, 11, 12, 1, 2, 30. Plus, we got to stop for coffee. 3, 3, 30. We got to hurry. I want to get unloaded today. Every day is a rush. So, we're sort of parked in this uh, parking lot right here on the edge, sort of in this uh, dead end of the parking lot, whatever you want to call it. You guys who have been here know what I'm talking about. And it was a nice, quiet night. It's fantastic. I slept great. And lucky for us, our delivery is just around the corner here. Give a little tug on my trailer. Make sure she's not gonna fall off. Make double, triple sure, even though I checked it. All right. So we just gotta go just around the corner to drop this off. And then we'll be on our way to Edmonton. So I stopped here for my minimum eight hours. In Canada, you don't have to stop for a full 10. You can just stop for eight consecutive hours and then start moving. You have to make up those extra two hours sometime throughout your 16 hour day from like the time I started rolling right there or from the time I started my pre-trip to the end of my day. Like I got 16 hours to account for another two hours in uh, minimum half hour increments. Now, like I've said in past videos, I'm actually kind of a fan of the e-logs, you know? Well, I, I don't know if I'd call myself a fan. Oh, that flag over there to the right. Hey, that used to be a big Saskatchewan flag. They put the Canada flag back up. <laughs> I noticed that after the last federal election, they took down the Canada flag and put up the Saskatchewan flag. <laughs> I guess they put the Canada flag back up. Anyways. Rabbit trail. Squirrel. Yeah, these e-logs, I don't mind them. I, I wouldn't call myself a fan, but I, I don't mind them at all, you know? For those of you who are still on paper and are, uh, you know, just, like, wondering what it's going to be like, because Canada's e-log, whatchamacallit, uh, mandate, e-log mandate, comes in this year, I believe, or next year, 2020 or 2021. Just like the U.S. And I drive in the U.S. a lot, so I had an e-log anyway, because you have to drive down there, drive on their soil, obey, obey their rules. So, I'm used to it already, but those of you who are wondering what it's going to be like, you know, there's a lot of negativity about it on the internet, and I understand all of it. I understand all the negativity. It, they have a point. But I'm just going to say, from my point of view, it's not that bad. It's not that, that bad. I mean, it, I got no paperwork. It sort of speeds things up a little bit. And if you already follow the rules and drive legally, it's not going to bother you at all. It's only going to bother you if you constantly drive with two logbooks illegally. You constantly, constantly, every day, you know, fudge the logbooks. Yeah, it's going to slow you down a bit in that sense, but it's going to bring you back to within the confines of the law, right? And uh, when I see people fighting against the e-log, that's all I can think of. I'm like, the only reason you wouldn't want it is if you want to drive illegally. That's just my own personal opinion, but I'd love to know your opinions down below in the comment section. What are the real reasons you hate e-logs? And what are some of the reasons you like it? Let me know down below so that all the new people thinking about getting into trucking can sort of know what the consensus is. I'm on the side of, meh, it's not that bad. Where do you stand on the issue? 
had me nosed up against this snowbank so they could unload me. So we are finished here. It is 9.20 in the morning, something like that, I think. We are off. ourselves out of here. I'm gonna go back to the Flying J there just to grab a coffee and we are bolting over to Atchison to get there tonight yet or today this afternoon. I want to deliver this afternoon. I don't want to have to wait till the morning because I want to make my way into BC tonight yet. What do you think Chevy? What do you think so far? Who's that over there? Why is he wearing a funny hat? He does have a magnificent beard though, doesn't he, Chevy? Maybe one day my beard will be that magnificent. Right now it's all over the place. <laughs> I'm trying to grow it out again. We'll see. We'll see, it's winter time, so it's a good time to grow it out. It keeps me warm. But uh, this here, this is doing something weird here today. This is what I mean. Keeping like a beard properly groomed on the road. Well, it would be easy if I had all the right tools, but uh, I'll have to get a few grooming products soon i already have in mind what i'm gonna get so by the time it gets long enough to use them i should have them plus i have something that i have from last time i grew my beard out last year i got them from my friend uh james who you guys have seen in the videos a couple of times chevy hey what do you think should i grow my beard out like that guys i'm probably not gonna wear the same hat as him though nope got my own hats what do you think do whatever you want, Dad. Is Mom here? Where do we go? Where is she? Mom? Mom? We'll go home later, Diesel. Chevy! Oh, I called you Diesel. Keep calling him Diesel. Diesel apparently is doing well. Uh, seems like his foot is healing up a little bit at home. But, uh, you know, Britt's keeping a close eye on him. She's on holidays now still, so... Uh, she can she's got to soak it and put cream on it and put a sock on him so he doesn't lick it He's in good hands And so is Chevy, right? So is Chevy. We're gonna have a great time, man. We're gonna go and celebrate New Year's together 2020 just me and you man 2020 Two guys just kicking it out in the wild man The scale was open In Saskatchewan, that's weird and I didn't even get pulled in for an inspection. Thank you very much. I didn't want to talk to you either. I'm not offended at all. Just send me on my way. Usually when Saskatchewan opens their scale houses, it's for inspections. Almost every time. They're very rarely open. But when they are, they're open. We snuck through, I'm getting out of here. Is it open both directions? Nope, they just want to look at people. Oh no, lights are flashing on that side too. Yeah, both directions open. Well, sneaky sneaky. It's supposed to be the holidays. You know, it's kind of weird. Not very many trucks on the road today because today's when I'm filming this is December 30th. It's the holidays, right? That's why there was so much parking at the Flying J yesterday. Because everybody's at home with their loved ones. There's not very many trucks on the highway. There's people like me who, you know, took all their time for Christmas and have to work over New Year's. So why wouldn't you be open when it's busier? <laughs> There's nobody out here. Why, why would you open the scale on a day like this? Maybe because we're not expecting it. But yesterday we were talking about hoarfrost. Look at that on the right. Can the camera pick these trees up? It's got a bunch of hoarfrost on it. It turns the trees white. It's the most beautiful part of winter. When the trees get all the frost on it like that. Can you see it? It's not gonna last long because the sun's gonna melt it off soon. But when it, that's not even that bad. Like on the left way over there, can you see that? <coughs> the pine trees really show it. And this isn't even that bad. Sometimes it gets like really bad or really good, however you look at it. 
and the whole tree is just completely crystal white, just sparkling, right? And then the sun comes up in the morning and everything is just sparkling like diamonds. That's a couch on the side of the highway. A leather couch. Whoops. But anyway, sometimes it's just, it's just amazing. Just you look outside and it's just, especially on the prairies, the flatlands, as far as you can see, just sparkling white beauty. It's just the most beautiful time of year, I think. It's not my favorite time of year, but it is the most beautiful time. I mean, summer's nice too, but summer, well, everyone loves summer because it's not winter. Starting to get very spooky out here. Western Saskatchewan. We're getting close to Alberta. Apparently we gotta go through this cloud first and we come out the other side. On the sunny side, maybe. I don't know. The days were noticeably getting longer already yesterday to me. Daylight hours. So we're headed straight. Well, not quite straight west right now, but I'm, I'm headed west, right? So in winter time, when you're heading west, the sun will set far to the left of this highway. But in summertime, when you're driving the same road, the sun will set far to the right of this highway. Very fascinating to see. You see it, the further north you go, the more evident and obvious it is. It's really neat the way the earth, its rotation and its tilt and orbit, all that works. It's really neat. I, I don't know. So uh, we're actually a little ways from Alberta yet. Oh, it looks like about an hour or so. But it looks like we will arrive on time. I forgot that uh, we're still in central time because Saskatchewan uh, fell back to keep Manitoba warm through the winter. So Alberta is off on its own. It's the only province in mountain time right now. Uh, and part of BC. I guess half of BC is in mountain time, right? Which makes sense because there's mountains there. But the other half of BC is in Pacific time and that's where we're gonna be uh, later on tonight. We won't quite make it to Kamloops, unfortunately. There's a, uh, we're gonna be like an hour short if my calculations are correct. But we don't have our motel reserved till tomorrow anyway. So we'll probably have another night in the truck. That's a long drive too. That'd be a full 13 hour drive and I don't think we'll quite make it, depending on how traffic and weather is in the mountains. But what I was getting at here is that Alberta's in mountain time, I'm still in central time, so I forgot about that. So we're actually an hour earlier to deliver than I thought we would be. I thought we were gonna be arriving between 3.30 and four and I was getting a little nervous. I was like, eh, if anything goes wrong, I might be late. I don't know when they go home. Probably around 4.30, 5 o'clock. Don't wanna be late. Turns out, not gonna be late at all. Gained an extra hour as soon as we cross in Alberta. As long as this fog doesn't get too thick, that'll slow us down. Well, we did it. We got here on time, and we delivered on time. You have six hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. And we have six hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. Would you look at that? Fantastico. Cool, so we're gonna get pretty far. Uh, Kamloops is uh, 800 kilometers from here, a little bit under, so a little bit under 500 miles. Won't quite be able to make it tonight, but that's okay, we'll get nearby. I'm kind of hoping to get a reset, even though I don't think I'll need it, but if I get there tomorrow early enough and then I stay there till the second, early in the morning, right? Remember we got the motel for two nights there. It's a cheap motel, it's like 50 bucks a night. So it's, it didn't look like a dive, but we'll make our judgments once we get there. I'm not paying 150 bucks a night for a fancy hotel. I'm fine as long as you got a bed free of bed bugs and a TV with cable and a shower. Throw in a little mini fridge and you've won my heart. Maybe, I'm just not very picky. I don't really care, a cheap motel. So, uh, as long as it's pet friendly, right? So we'll uh, be there till the second, early in the morning. That means we get there on the 31st. We'll be reset. That means I have a full 70 hours available to us. But we're going home for the IUI. But if the IUI doesn't take long, like we gotta wait for Brett's cycle. And when it's time, we gotta go into the doctor, like immediately, and do this procedure. 
Uh, so I gotta stay home till that happens. But the way I have it worked out, as long as I have a load, which I don't have yet, as long as I get a load straight back home, I should be home on the 5th or so. And that's right around the time when we're thinking we're gonna need to do the procedure. 6th, 7th, somewhere in there. And oh, and on the 10th, I have a doctor's appointment. I don't wanna be home all week though. Might have to reschedule that doctor's appointment. <sighs> The doctor's appointment to follow up on all my CT scans and everything. And uh, if it was an emergency, they'd be calling me to, you know, go to the hospital. So I'm not too worried about that. But I do need to do a follow up with my doctor. That I can reschedule if I have to. But the IUI, that is dependent solely on her cycle, on Britt's cycle. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, my wife and I, Britt, have been having fertility issues. Uh, from what we can tell, it's on my side. But uh, I'm, I'm not infertile. We're good. We're just getting a little elevator ride. Uh, we're getting our team just sort of dropped off at the finish line because they're not very good swimmers. So anyways, with that little recap out of the way, we're trying to get this IUI procedure done this month. That means very, very, very good chance. If we get it right on the head, nail it on the head, right on the right day, very good chance that she could be pregnant after this month. Let's hope and pray. We're waiting. We're waiting. We want a baby pretty badly. So it'll happen. It'll happen. The doctors say there's nothing preventing us from having kids. We're just getting a little help along the way so that it happens a little bit smoother and quicker. And good chance that it could be multiples too, because they got her on these like uh, hormones or these drugs that uh, make it possible that she could have more than once. So we might have twins. Very good chance. Yeek. Right? <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's get back to trucking here. We have a bit of a long road ahead of us. We're going to stop by the truck stop just around the corner here. Uh, grab some washer fluid because I'm running low and we're going to need a lot. And uh, we're going to walk the Chevy because he's been such a good boy all day. Such a good boy. You know, your mother's been asking about you nonstop. She says she misses you so much. So much. And I miss my weasel too, but we're having fun, right? We're having fun. Okay, let's go to the truck stop, bud. I can't walk you here. Take this one. Come on, start up, baby. Yeah, there you are. I knew you liked me. You have six hours and 45 minutes of remaining drive time. You already told me that. Thank you. And then there was just one stop remaining. I wonder if I could deliver this tomorrow. I could probably get all the way down to... No, I wouldn't get there in time. They're only working a half day to, uh, tomorrow because it's New Year's Eve. So I wouldn't get there in time and waste my time going down there. No, we already have a motel reserved for us. We're gonna stick with the plan, stick with the plan. Sort of kick my feet up a little bit for the New Year's, right? I don't always get motels, but yeah, if the right price comes along. And it's got truck parking, so that's important. So many motels don't have truck parking, it's frustrating. And then I can't go there. But it is kind of nice that most motels nowadays are pet friendly. Uh, here we just had to pay an extra $20 fee every night, which is kind of ridiculous, but at least they allowed Chevy in there. Uh, I usually try to stay at places like Motel 6. They usually have pretty good rooms, really good rates, and pets stay for free. That's usually my go-to. Right. But not this time. Just on the next block over. Petro Pass. We've come in here many times, all of us together. But this time there's probably going to be parking. Turn right on. 26230 Township Road 531 and then turn right into 170 meters. Do not enter here. Okay, we're supposed to enter over here. In 300 meters, turn right on. 26230 Township Road You have no idea what you're talking about, Karen. Turn right into 170 meters. We've been driving for about five hours today already, so uh, it's time for a coffee. It's a big 10-4. Could fuel here too. You know what? I'm going to fuel here too, just because I'm not familiar with the road ahead. We're going into the mountains, and I'd like to have full tanks of fuel. Why not? Just to be safe. Just to be safe. And plus, I know these DEF pumps are going to work. 
Well, surprise. We didn't actually go to Kamloops. We couldn't make it today. And I wanted to sleep in a motel tonight. So we canceled that reservation at the Riverland. Uh, I think it was called the Riverland Inn on River Street in Kamloops. And we're staying in Hinton, Alberta instead. Works out better because now I get a whole evening here on the 30th yet. And then tomorrow I get the whole day New Year's Eve and I can participate in whatever they do for New Year's around here. Probably I'll, I'll probably just watch TV and do the countdown by myself and me and Chevy will be like, woo, happy New Year's, right Chevy? Right? It worked out better because now I can leave here on the first. Well, I got to check out before 11 a.m. So if I would have gone to Kamloops, I would have had to leave at about or get up at about four in the morning, leave at about five to six so that I could be down on the second. Like I would have left on the second, right? I would have stayed from tomorrow night to the second. But now I can have all day, all evening tonight, all day tomorrow, and I don't have to get up at four in the morning on the following day. The first I'll just get up at, you know, whatever, whenever I get up, eight, seven thirty, eight, nine, and uh, make our way down to Langley from here on the first to deliver on the second. Does that make sense? That's what I decided to do anyway, so here we are. It actually worked out because this place is way nicer. This is the Quality Inn in Hinton. It's way nicer, bigger, more spacious, newer, pet friendly, and it's cheaper. It was going to be $87 a night in uh, with the pet fee because there was a pet fee on top of everything, right? And after taxes and everything, it's going to be $87 a night. So here it was only $65 a night with everything included. Saving money, getting the same amount of time off in a hotel room for New Year's. So this is where we'll be, me and Chevy. Right, Chevy? This place smells funny. Is there water in here? I brought in bottled water for you, buddy, so you don't have to drink this uh, tap water here. I don't, I'm sure it's fine, but let's see what this place looks like with all the lights on. Oh, you got some natural, okay. I'm turn this light on too, I'm guessing that. I like the warm, okay, see this is the kind of bulb I like in a motel room. It's that warm white, right? That warm color. That color is like the daylight color. That irritates me, it's not natural in my in my eyes. So, let's see what this one is. Oh, see this one's warm. What's wrong with that bulb then? Why is that bulb a different color? Look at this, Chevy, look at this madness. Look at this madness. That's gonna drive me nuts. And there's no lights on that side of the room at all. You know what I might do? I might switch the bulbs from here to there. So that that matches. My OCD is gonna go crazy, right? Cause this is the same kind of bulb. I'm gonna switch them. I'm gonna switch them right now. Let's turn them off before they get too hot. That's gonna drive. Why is there a different bulb in here? That's just careless. That's just, that's too many levels of not caring. We're gonna fix this. How do we do this? Okay, so this fluorescent bulbs. It's got to be symmetrical, people. I don't own a motel, but I know this. Oh, and this one's just like a regular bulb, I guess. There's an LED. Oh, that's why it's an it's an LED as opposed to fluorescent. Eh, somebody bought the wrong bulbs. Somebody bought bought the wrong bulbs. Bubbles. Okay, let's put that down in there. Yeah. Yep. And there we go. See, you can be there all by yourself, all weird. Us over here, we're gonna match. Sorry for dragging you along on this, but this is very exciting vlog material. Very exciting. I couldn't turn it down. There we go. Still doesn't quite match. Oh, what in the world? You got three different bulbs? Whatever, it's closer. It's closer. This is more of like a desk lamp anyways, right? Right? Am I crazy? I've got a little bit of a Christmas belly happening here. That's okay though. I have an excuse. It's the holidays. After the holidays, it's gonna be like that. You'll see. You'll see. So what do we all got in here? We got a microwave with 17 seconds left on it. I don't know why. We got a pretty decent fridge here. Do we gotta turn it on? Check this out, Chevy. You could almost fit in there. Jeez. 
Is it on? Oh yeah, it's all the way on. It's all the way on. Okay, like blasting. Blasting. Anything in the freezer? He didn't leave me anything? Okay. Do we got our own coffee maker? Uh -huh. Coffee. Yep. What else we got? Closet. With a bag. Ironing board. Sweet. I was hoping they'd have one of those. Good. But no iron. What am I supposed to do with an ironing board without an iron? Chevy, that's a dilemma. That is not convenient. Well, we have an ironing board. Just in case. No iron. Oh, iron's over here. Is that an iron? I don't know what that is over there. How do, how do I turn these lights on? What do we got going on here? Oh, what's this? That is definitely not an iron. That is supposed to be hanging on the wall, but it is literally just on the shelf with the wire hanging down like that with holes in the wall where it should be. Not so much quality in anymore, is it? They just call it the quality in. It doesn't mean it actually is quality. I mean, it's nice still, whatever. That doesn't bother me. It might bother some people though, just saying. Fix that. Why is that fan so loud? What's going on? Oh, special switch just for the fan. That is convenient. I, I wish our bathroom at home had that. The one we're demolishing only had one switch and it turned on the lights and the fans. So if you wanted to leave the fan on, you had to leave the lights on. That made no sense. Convenient. Bathroom sink here. What do we got going on back here? What do we got going on? Chevy, take a look at this. Come in here, Chef. Come on, get in here. Take a look at this. Why do you want me the bathroom? That's weird, man. I'll wait out here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Ooh. What happened up there? Ooh. So they obviously renovated the outside, the exterior of this building, and did not exactly bring the interior up to date along with it. Mismatched bulbs, stained ceilings, hair dryers broken off the wall, missing irons, 17 seconds left on the microwave, no complimentary drinks in the fridge. But do they have a Bible? Where would it be? Here? I think it's here, Chevy? Think it's over here? No, not there either. Well, maybe it's here. No, no Bible. What? Well, what? What about this one? No. What'd they do with the Bible? There's always a Bible. In every hotel room in North America, there's a Bible placed by the Gideons. Unless if they specifically take it out. Oh, hey look, we got a toaster and a water kettle. Where's the Bible? 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 Nope. Bible? Nope. Extra blankets, Bible? Nope. Bible? No, nope, there's no Bible. Well, how are the guests supposed to hear about the good Lord Jesus? No Bible in this. This is a heathen motel. Oh no. Oh no. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be right here in the motel room. I'll make a video. I don't know what we're gonna do. But I'll make a video for the countdown, but you're gonna get it like a week after New Year, so it'll be like a re happy New Year for you. Maybe I'll live stream it. Chevy, should we live stream more? I'll live stream it. I'll live stream it. Okay. So you've already seen that already. So you already know I'm in here. <laughs> you sneaky people paying attention. Okay. All right. So this is all just repeat for you. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. It means a lot.
Hey, right, Chevy. Hey, Chevy, you gotta look at them when you're talking to them. They make me nervous. They're all so good looking. Well, that's a nice thing to say.